Alright everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered on Grounded Difficulty. So, we've just, um, in the last scene, left Henry, or Henry killed himself as he couldn't live any longer with his brother being an infected and also being shot by himself. So it's just me and Ellie again, Joel and Ellie. And then um, we have arrived closer to where Joel's brother, Tommy, is staying, his camp. So we're going to quickly um, just have a little mooch around here, see what we can find, any scavenge, any materials. And as we say that, we found a new weapon. It's got a scope on a revolver. It's going to be a powerful weapon. El Diablo. So let's just drop down here quickly. So uh, as well, for the first time in the game, Joel and Ellie have actually got some new clothes on. They've actually found someone's clothes hanging on a washing line maybe, <laughs> who knows. Okay, we do actually have to drop down. Let's follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. So we want to get down a bit closer to the river. Um, which way are we going to go? Probably have to gonna backtrack a little bit. What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so <laughs> really something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. What was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. Yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Ellie! I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. Oh, I'll read that later. How can you split from your brother in a like, end of the world situation? Like, it's crazy. If you stick together with anyone that you've that you know and you can trust, obviously they couldn't trust each other. <laughs> so we've got to make our way across this river somehow. I'm gonna keep following it until we find a, um, hopefully a bridge of some sort to get across with both Joel and Ellie. Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> uh, a hydro who? It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? We'll have to figure that out once we get up here. I'm guessing this is a shift door. Of course it is. I'm not going to go into them anymore because the only thing you can guarantee you'll get from them is weapon parts and pills. And they're not as important as ammo and also possibly making a weapon. Upgrading a melee weapon. Up, we'll make it okay, so we're making a bridge there by um, whatever that is, moving that up. Something to do with the water flowing through, but it's also going to give us a little passage to um, walk across. So there's nothing up here. We're going to have to jump in the water here, try and find a pallet as per usual. I'll find something. Just hang tight. <laughs> you, at least, probably thinking, what the fuck are you doing, jumping in the water, you crazy bastard? So we're gonna drop down here. There's a lot of debris down here. Um, now that we know what's down there, we'll catch our breath. We'll duck down again. Go inside this um, little box, this shed looking thing. And um, there's a pallet right there and they're stuck in the roof. So we've got that up for Ellie. Just before we do carry on, I want to quickly have a little search under the water, see if anything that stands out that's worth going towards. I'm not expecting anything, obviously, because it's just, if it's going to be anything down there, it's only going to be a few parts, maybe, maybe some blades. I need you to. I know. Step on the fucking pallet. <laughs> Ellie's getting sick of this now. So 
So Ellie's going to jump up here now. Turn that wheel so it makes the raise up the other side. So we can get across next. Because she's across now. So we just need to help ourselves get across. Oh, give it a spin. I will. Teamwork. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Joel and Ellie are definitely like getting closer as they go through this same adventure together. Cracking jokes between each other. It's not just the Ellie being um, a beard on Joel anymore. That's too small. Leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? I mean, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just. That's enough. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. So Joel's like really cannot handle any bad news that happens in his life by losing people. Because, of course, he's been through this for like 20 years now, and you, you wonder how many people he's lost. So any time he loses someone, he just doesn't want to get down or even think about them anymore because it's, it's happening all the time around him. But Ellie's probably hasn't lost as many people as Joel, so it's kind of like she still wants to talk about it. Oh, I'm so hungry. I know, I am too. Alright, next squirrel I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. I'm just cracking jokes while, like, starving to death. Okay, so we're going to go up here, around to the front of this, um, what you call it? Incident Security Force. That's the name of their security that's made the wall. So it's a hydro something electricity plant. Uh, should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Before we actually go into that plant, so we're gonna um, quickly have a little peek around. Take that power plant map off the wall, why not? Doesn't really tell us anything, it just shows us kind of like the blueprint of how the plant is set up. We've also got some weapon parts there and other materials we can use to craft. Just looking at what we can craft right there. We can craft a smoke bomb or a nail bomb. I think we might actually be able to upgrade a melee weapon as well. I'm going to do that because I haven't done it yet. And also, I'm not really bothered about shivs anymore. I'm not going to be using them to break doors open. And also, you don't really need them that much. It's only if you're going to be facing a clicker that you'd need it. Which I'm hoping to avoid. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. What are the, what are the chances of that? <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. Fucking old. Easy. It's going to happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother in law. We all got to get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies! We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. 
It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. That ass. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Look, take it easy. Go home. They must live on the plant, though. You can't imagine them living away from it. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week. It feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I don't think Joel likes reliving the past. Although it is his daughter. Ooh. Giving it back. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. So Joel probably wants to tell Tommy about Ellie and why they're looking for the fireflies. That's gonna have to hold for a second while um, Tommy gets the generators turned back on and Joel's just gonna follow. I wanna go in there. I wanna see what- wait, wait Tommy, Tommy wait. I can't help myself. I've got to scavenge what you've got. I've only been here two minutes. I'm gonna steal all your shit. Give me them pills. Uh, give me that alcohol. Alright, oh, give me them parts. Alright, come on, Tommy, come in. Hang on. Let's have to tie my shoe laces. Am I wearing laces? Hope I am. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self sustained. We have crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. But what do you do for protection? Adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when the plant's up. You still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. There's a little doggy. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. Maybe good to have around. Looks old. I think the hunters are more dangerous than the infected, though. Obviously, because they're smarter. These two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure, make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. To the left. Watch it. 
Got a good thing going around here, haven't they? Got a lot of um, people who know what they're doing in terms of right. constructing shit. got electricity here. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. He's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, seen come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men, and nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? Supposed to deliver to the fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. You finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy! Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They but got I, families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. 